Hello, hello. Happy Monday, baby. Happy Monday. This is Sister's Intuition. I'm coming to you with the reading. <coughs> Forgive my voice here. I'm about to get smothered out by Sage, but I'm here to give you your message for the air signs, baby. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this is a general reading, baby. I ain't going to fit with each and every air sign. I got to move that over a little bit. Uh, so it's not, it's general. It's not going to resonate with each and every air sign, like I was saying. Uh, if you have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your sun, moon, or rising, there could be messages in this for you. However, take what resonates and leave out the rest. It doesn't belong to you. It's not your message. Everything you need to know about me is down there in the box. Um, if anybody would like to donate to the channel, uh, I would appreciate it. You know, much love to you. Fame, peace, love, and light. And God bless you. And give me a big fat thumbs up. If you do not mind, give me a big thumbs, big fat thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right. Then you can also follow me on Facebook. I go live there each and every day. If you go over to Facebook and find Shelly Evans and hit the follow button, um, you'll get notified when I go live because I always give everybody a heads up in my news feed. I post when I'm going live and you can catch me live there. And you can also follow me on Sisters Intuition, okay? Uh, on TikTok, you can catch me there as well, all right? So, appreciate y'all all being here, and I hope that you can uh, enjoy this message, okay? All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Give me the six card spread for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Five, six, two. Three more. Three. Four. And I wanted to shuffle this on here, so bear with me. Hmm. That's why I felt that way. Nine of Swords. Okay. I was like, well, why the hell I feel this way for it? All right, let's see what we got going on. All right. We got the King of Swords and the Reverse, baby. Okay, here we go. I'm trying out some new, um, some new um, terror spreads. So just bear with me. This is the first time I've used this one. I've done one, just one on me. Okay, so I'm just first time I've done it. So just bear with me, and we'll get through it. All right, all right. So. What you need to be looking at right now, it could be yourself, okay? And what stuff looks like to you. Um, you know, what does it look like for you? So what it looks like to, for you right now is the King of Swords is in reverse. It means this is somebody that's uh, not using their uh, their intuition, you know. Uh, this is somebody that is, uh, as a, you know, not telling the full truth. This is somebody, too, that likes to uh, do emotional conflict, okay? Um, yeah, this is somebody that's not very wise. They're, they're not honest. And they're not thinking very well, okay? Now, what is missing is the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is missing. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Queen of Wands is missing. So you could be telling with a uh, uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So some of y'all are thinking like, damn, you know, my passion is gone. My creativity is gone. You know, um, me being able to speak my mind, uh, you know, and be able to speak how I feel is missing. You know, um, because this is all about what's missing in this card. So, yeah. So, you feel like, you know, maybe your passion for life, your drive for life, maybe you've been able to speak how you want to be saying stuff. Um, you feel like you're not able to. Okay? And, you know, you, you feel doused out. So, you know, um, you could be going through, like, um, drained energy at this point in time, some depression, some sadness. But the Queen of Wands, is this is what's missing. So, somebody could be missing the Queen of Wands, too. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So take that as it resonates. I read that two different ways okay now what is keeping you in the dark is the crossroads you don't know which way to go you're confused but you, you know you're trying to sit here and come up with some plans here what's influencing it because you are at the crossroads right so what is missing is you needing to <laughs> what's keeping you in the dark is trying to figure out which way you need to go period okay now where can you find the light at so 
you're finding light, uh, you know, and you're seeing this within yourself that the Five of Cups, you could be emotional. You could be sad right now. You know, you could be focusing on some type of loss. Okay, you could have lost something. Uh, I'll clarify this in a minute. You could have been focusing on somebody betraying you. There could have been some, you know, you're focusing on, um, you know, shedding light on what you what you should have, could have, would have done. Okay. Now, what will be illuminated is the nine of wands in reverse. Somebody's past is coming up to to, uh, to haunt somebody right now, whether it's be you or the person you're dealing with. Um, but the nine of wands, too, is, you know, the, what's being illuminated to yourself is that you give up on yourself. You know, you're sitting in this energy of like, oh, well, I'm in regret. I'm sad. Well, what are you going to do about it? Right? That's what you need to be figuring out. Now, how will I move forward from here? Well, I have the Six of Cups in reverse. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't show you the cards a minute ago, but I have the Six of Cups in reverse. So how do you move forward from here? You get you get over the past. You start healing it. You know, you start working through the issues that's making you sad and on the bottom with the anxiety and the fear because somebody's past has definitely come up to home. And now you're sitting back looking at a lot of regret like, damn, I did this stuff to myself. About stability. Could be around a work issue. Some kind of truth has come out. Okay, somebody's taking action around a work situation. They're moving forward. Uh, the sun could be Leo. So somebody's moving forward because there's been some shit illuminated, right? Somebody's letting go. So, you know, that's what you're focused on. So how you go forward from here, you got to put the past behind you. You need to heal. All right, care, clarify this King of Swords in reverse. The Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Clarify this King of Swords in reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Thank you. Thank you. Ten of Swords. Yep, let's see here. Okay. Mm. Well, what it looks like to you right now is the King of Pentacles is in reverse. Some of y'all could be um, dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female, just take the energy. <clears throat> but y'all could be, uh, what it looks like for you right now is that there's some endings going on. Ten of Swords. Some kind of backstabbing betrayal. Um, somebody is losing their stability uh, because somebody didn't want to put the work in. You know, somebody didn't want to be telling the truth. Okay? The lovers could be Gemini. You know, this could be the, you know, the, uh, the end of a uh, situation. That's what it looks like to you. There's going to be end of a relationship. Page of Swords. There could have been some kind of written communication here. It could have been some lies. Okay? Uh, this could be somebody stalking. Okay? But the Nine of Cups, you know, Somebody's life is getting good. Their wishes are being fulfilled, okay? So, that's where we're going with that. Now, clarify this Queen of Wands. Template this Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Jim and Ollie for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Thank you. Yeah. Queen of Wands, my God. So, what is missing is the Queen of Wands because this is somebody that's getting their success. They're getting their abundance. You know, they're working on their wealth. Page of Pentacles, they're somebody's practical, somebody you can trust. Making a decision called judgment. Because you could have been in decision before about what was missing. Okay? You could have had time to sit back and heal, take a pause, to break, to uh, get re-centered. But the Four of Swords is about healing. It's about taking a break. So, somebody, you know, the judgment's here. Somebody could be going through an awakening. Okay, but judgment is here. So, what is missing is money. <laughs> Money's missing right now. Stability is missing right now. Family is missing right now. Okay, that's what's missing. So, this Queen of Wands could be what's missing because, you know, she's got all this right here. She's got judgment. She could have some kind of judgment, highly favored, uh, whether, it, whether it be a legal situation or just in general. You know, she is, um, yeah, this person is getting shit done here. So this is what's missing to you. But it's over. So it's got financial. It's going to be something that's going to make you more stable. All right, two of wands. Clarify this two of wands. Two of wands. Shit. Too many cards. I'm going to reshuffle that again. Okay, never mind. Okay, listen, you're at a crossroads right now, right? This right here is, you know, what's keeping me in the dark? Well, you could have lost a job. Somebody doesn't want to work with you. You could be losing your stability right now. And the uncertainty and the doubt is what's keeping you at this crossroads. Because, you know, an empress, you know, you need to understand that this could be a single mother. could be a pregnancy. could be a baby mama. But the crossroads is maybe there is no stability with somebody. You know, maybe that's what's keeping you in the dark and keeping you from moving forward because you could be dealing with a baby mama, uh, Taurus. 
you know, uh, but, uh, you know, the uncertainty too is like you need to nurture and take care of yourself and you need to stand in your power. But, you know, the uncertainty and the doubt and, you know, the, the excitement being gone, you know, there's nobody celebrating, you know, there's no consistency, there's no dedication, no work being put in. So this is what's keeping you in the dark because nobody's working on anything. If you're not working on anything and, uh, you know, you're not being dedicated and all you are is sitting here with a lot of uncertainty and doubt, what are you sitting here for? Your answer should already be made. Correct. All right. Tell me about this five of cups. Clarify this five of cups. Gemini, I live Aquarius. Clarify the five. It's too many. Too many. Five of Cups. Five of Cups. Clarify the Five of Cups. Jim and I live Yeah, somebody's... Ooh, okay. This is somebody that you could have walked away from, okay? Thinking the grass was greener on the other side. But where you can find the light is, look, you walked away from it. Somebody's life is getting good, and now you're in regret because you walked away from it, and now somebody's life is getting good. This could have been somebody that you worked with, okay? And somebody's taking action here. It's about taking action. All right. Now, clarify this nine of wands, Gemini. Clarify this nine of wands, Gemini, Labor, Aquarius. Thank you. This one come up reverse. Six of Pentacles. Somebody wasn't equal. There was no equal give and take. Nobody wanted to make a decision here. Okay? Nobody wanted to make a choice. Maybe you had a decision, a choice that you needed to make. Okay? And, you know, you didn't make this choice or you didn't want to. Okay, so there was no equal give and take. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So this right here is what has been illuminated. It's been illuminated. Somebody could have been taking, actually could have been taking some money from somebody. Somebody could have took some money from somebody. Somebody wasn't making a decision, making a choice. There could have been two people, okay, that you had to make a decision about. And this is what is uh, being illuminated, you know. So since it's been illuminated, you know, you could have missed an opportunity for cups. You could be getting blocked off emotionally from somebody. And this is somebody, Emperor Aries, they could be starting their own business they're getting stable this person is protected they they're stable they they got protection um yeah it could be like a father figure but if it isn't they just they they demand order they demand stability okay now clarify the six of cups in reverse for gemini Libra, aquarius yeah you gotta love yourself period you know where do you go from here first and foremost is the ace of cups baby you need to start loving yourself okay you gotta start loving yourself who you are right this right here, you know, put the past down behind you and quit, you know, get out of the arguments, get out of the drama, get out of the competition. You know, you don't need all the drama and shit, you know, this is how you do, how you move forward from here is keep the fucking drama away from you. Yeah, closing out cycles, world, and starting new chapters, new beautiful beginnings. And where do you go from here? You've been doing a lot of praying. This could have been a sign of Aquarius, a lot of praying, um, a lot of talking to spirit. Or this could be somebody dealing with a star that's going after their ambitions and goals. So this is saying, keep praying, keep holding the faith, go after your ambitions and goals, and heal. There's something coming in really fast. Okay? Uh, this could be some communication. It could be wanting to change something here. And I'm going to get out of this and see what the T is on it. All right. All right. Tell me what we need to know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What we need to know about this, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we'll take about five cards. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, give me about five cards, Spirit, for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me about five cards, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for this situation. Thank you. It's good enough. Yeah, bottom is jackpot. Somebody's going to hit the jackpot, baby. Somebody could be winning money, getting rich, getting an inheritance, okay, get some kind of expected money. And Spirit says, it's time for you to dust yourself off. You know, we all make mistakes. That's how we grow. That's how we evolve, okay? Dust yourself off and get the fuck back up and try again, baby. That's what you do. Because you need to get off your ambitions and go after your goals. And uh, you, you can't let life defeat you because life ain't stopping. So it's time to get up, get healed, and, and get on. You know, you could be running away from a situation, okay? Uh, you know, you could have married somebody for money. Or, or, or somebody's marrying for money. Or somebody's wanting to marry somebody for money, Okay? And somebody's coming in, this is you or who you're dealing with, it's fake-ass fake, fake -ass smiles, and somebody's looking somebody up and doing research on them, okay? They're trying to get facts, but somebody's sitting here talking a lot of shit, making a lot of fake-ass accounts, okay? And somebody's going through some legal issues, okay? Some legal issues. Could be judges, courts, lawyers, immigration, take it as a resonance, okay? All right, and we'll get one of these, we'll get one of the kippers, and we're going to roll out, all right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, what we need to know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you. Yeah, here in the distant horizon, somebody's going to court. Spirit says, going to court. Distant horizon and adjudication for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be going to court over a child. Somebody's being held in high honor and regard, and somebody could be in despair here. Somebody could be losing something here. You know, somebody's concerned about this privileged lady. Somebody's concerned somebody about to get some money. That's what it is. They sit back expecting it. And somebody could be going through a legal um, situation here in the near future. It's going to be around children because it's adjudication. But this is somebody that's held in high honor and regard. And somebody's going to be a privileged lady. And somebody's in despair. So instead of sitting back in despair, if this is you, it's time to dust yourself off and get back up and try again. You know, you're not going to make it if that's what it is, you know? You got to get up and get your ambitions going, all right? All right, I hope that this helped you. For whatever reason, if it didn't, like I said, this is a general message. It's not going to resonate with each and every air sign. Take what resonates, baby, and leave out the rest, okay? It belongs to another air sign. Uh, everything you need to know about me, like I said, is down there. If you want to donate to the channel or get a personal reading, God bless each and every one of you that's able to do that. I really appreciate you. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, uh, comments. Appreciate those. I'll send you peace, love, and light, baby. God bless each and every one of you and your family on your journey. Okay? And I hope this resonated. Follow me on Facebook, Shelly Evans, and watch me on TikTok, Sisters Intuition as well. Peace, love, and light, baby, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.